Welcome back tubers. It's time for a quick update. I've got myself a donor motor. I would have done a lot more to that motor in the last week, except that motor has been giving me chilly like you wouldn't believe. Uh, it won't idle. It'll run fine. You put your foot flat to the floor and accelerates away and does everything you need to do, but it won't idle. Um, as soon as you're driving along the road and you take your foot off the accelerator and sort of just roll down the road, it stutters, jerks backwards and forwards and then backfires. Um, so I'm working on that. This, more importantly, a mini update because I know how you all love a mini update, right? Uh, all here for battery videos. Here you go. Batteries, now it's relevant. So what I've been doing is I basically got a 50 litre air compressor that I borrowed. So it's really slow to do all the sandblasting, but I've been getting a lot of sandblasting done. And even though I hate the terminology, I've been refurbishing all these old parts. And for, you know, they're coming up not bad considering nice and shiny they're black uh they've been drying now for over a week so they're nice and hard and hopefully doesn't get damaged too much yeah so that's all looking got nice uh got the exhaust there i uh, finally got this new bearing in so this new bearing's got to go in here but unfortunately i've got to work out how to get that old bearing out you can see the old bearing casing in there and a bit of crud in the bottom it's in the side cover that sits on the end of the motor there and I basically got this little grinding bit, so abrasive mounted point. And then that sort of worked, but this was even better. So these are little sanding discs that go onto a little rubber mount. And I just needed to use uh, probably two and a half of them out of a packet. And they're like 10 bucks or something. And then what I did was I ground down, once it was sufficiently thin enough, I just got my little screwdriver there and wedged it down in between and then pulled a couple of little chunks out. You can see that's sort of slightly polished. It's almost sharp there because I ground it down so thin, made it nice and weak. And then grabbed my little screwdriver, wedged it around, wedged it around. And now I'm at this point now where it's almost out. I'm never going to get this on camera because I don't have a mount. But that should just lift on straight out of there and now it's coming out i half expected that to take days so you can see there that's the bit of our ground out the rest of the actual bearing itself where'd it go just fell out just fell to pieces and then I, in the process of trying to get it out, I knocked the top ring off and stuff like that. So if you have a look down there, look down in there in the hole, there's not too much damage. And certainly I can re-employ this little sanding block, the little blunt ones, just to run around there and clean it all up. So now we can slide that bearing back in and we're one step closer. Um, we've got the side cover there. So I'm basically going through trying to build the motor to a state where I can go, okay, I've got all the bits and pieces now. You can you can get it to turn out, well, not turn, not start, but get it all built up, and then I'm gonna pull it all apart, check everything that I've done, wash everything again, because I'm still not happy. I'm still finding just a little bit, little bit of grit here and there. Um, I've also got to check this here. There is just a little, oh, you can't even see that on camera. You might be able to hear that but there's a little bit of play in that i'm not sure how much play that's supposed to have the end float's been done there's nothing on the crank uh, new fuel pump in i'm going to change these over to the breather type actually off that motor there um i'm actually going to open the head up i haven't opened the head up yet to put the head on because i'm going to get that worked so the head's all been cleaned up i haven't i've had this for two months now i haven't even opened it so it's time to open this up and have a look inside and place it on top now i've also got i wasn't sure all the nuts and bolts and stuff the stuff that you can't see i've just sort of cleaned up a bit and the bolts that you can't get i've sort of just hit with the, the wire wheel that one there trying to clean them all up but i ended up going with um head bolts and i've just bought as many kits as i could for uh nice fresh bolts that looks a little bit better oh, that one's already got all the we call it Loctite on it as well so that I think that'll be handy 
on. Bolts, bolts and washers there. Just, just things to keep it all look nice and good. We've got the little screws there that go into the radiator surround, just there. And we've also got the radiator that goes into that little part there and those bits there, little washers and new nuts and stuff as well. I don't know where the new nuts went. Oh, the new bolts, they're there. So they'll all go in. Uh, don't know whether I'm gonna paint that black or silver yet. That's the spin on oil filter. I've gone to spin on from the old cartridge type, the old cartridge type's down there. Um, inlet manifold, exhaust, what else have we got? Clutch, that's all been done. New alternator and starter motor. I say new a lot, but, but that's what it is, unfortunately. Um, so let's open that one up and have a quick look at it. Now, all that I know about this head is it's been cleaned up. I haven't looked at it. Um, but I want to get it port polished. I haven't had a chance to organize that yet. So all of these bolts here, I have a replacement for in that lot there. So where do I open this up? I'm, not a, I'm also not going to clean or paint this one until I've had it actually port polished. Wow, that's, that's so much bigger ports than the emissions head I've got on that car. I'll bring you up for a look. Yeah, turn the light on. Those ports weren't described as uh, like, what do you call it, port and polish. It was just cleaned up. So they are nice and clean, I guess you'd say. But it doesn't look like the casting marks have been taken off. So the, nothing really has been done to that. So it'll be interesting to see how that flows. And in fact, that'll make a very polite head leaving it the way it is. Uh, single valve springs, but I got doubles. I think I've got doubles down there. Yep, I've got a set of doubles down there. They've got to go on. And Cooper S valves, slightly larger than standard. Nice and clean. Well, I say clean, but it's rusty. It needs a it needs a good clean. I might even try and sandblast and clean up that gearbox on the outside. Oh, for anybody who asked, now it hasn't been oiled again, but that spins beautifully now. And I, what I actually did was to clean this one up. <laughs> I worked out why it wasn't spinning. There was a nut down in there that I didn't know was there. A, a, wash, a nut, yeah. Nylock, that's it. So that's why it wasn't spinning. It was nice and clean. Now I was going to rebuild this gearbox, but I simply don't have the funds to do it. So I'm going to suck it and see. I'm going to put it all on. If it doesn't work, I'll pull the motor back out and I'll put that gearbox in because I know it's good. I've also told that rod box works as well. So I do have a couple of spares, even though it'll take an extra amount of time. But As far as plans go, this is a good plan. Uh, most of the other sandblasting I've done in this little cabinet, but I just took all the hoses out of it, made myself look like a complete dick. A couple of bits of black sheets of plastic, and I mean, I haven't caught it all, but the sandblasting media. Basically just put the hose into the bucket and it's actually coming up all right. I don't need it to look perfect. I just need to get all the loose bits of paint off. I was doing it with a wire brush. It just killed me. So I won't be getting all every single bit off because I'll be painting it silver anyway. But I filed down all these to sort of try and clean them up a little bit. Only on the sides. I didn't try and re, what do you, re contour all this. It's not worth it because um, it is cooling. But like, I'm not going to lie. That was dodgy as all get out. But guess what? I never wanted it perfect. No, so it's going to get painted, so I've got to sit before. And it's got little bits of paint still on it, but nothing that's going to come off. So a little bit of dirt in there, a little bit of, we call it oil and stuff in there I'll have to grab out. But by and large, that's sure as heck a lot better than what it was. Grab the hose, give it a quick wash off, a bit of a degrease, and I'll show you what it looks like after I painted it. Time completely got away from me. I did such small amounts of work to this motor over about a two and a half week period 
and this is where I'm at now. So it's pretty much rough together. I've got the gearbox on. I reckon it come up all right, actually. There's about four coats of paint on that. Nice thin coats of paint. I haven't got the new screws for here, but I did try and clean them up as much as possible. Now, I also have to go through it again and clean that again because I'm starting to see another couple of little grains of sand and some of the little orifices that I didn't block off well enough. Um, all that's together. It's looking pretty good. The clutch isn't in there at the moment. Uh, we've got the new fan belt. Uh, we've got a few other little accessory bits still to go on it. We've got the rest of the stuff painted up here. We've got the breather. We've got the, the hoses and pipes and stuff on it. I'm trying to lay it all out so I can see it all. So I can visualize how it all goes together and whether I'm missing anything. Uh, so far, the only thing I'm missing or still waiting on is I got a new set of roller rockers coming. Um, what else we got? And the shims for that so I can get it all level. And I think some, some build, some goo for all the um, seals. So I can do the seals, the new gaskets and stuff, and then put some sealer on with it. And I think that's it. I think we're almost ready to do a final build. So next video, epic time lapse of me pulling that apart, washing everything and doing the final assembly on it. So stay tuned for that. Thank you very much for tuning in, guys. And I'll see you on the next one.